hello guys in this video i will show you how can you port gts 10 and rias pedestrians to gts 10 and rias android so first of all what you have to do is make sure you have extracted the obb files of gts 10 and rias android if you don't know how to extract obb files you can watch my previous video i have posted a link of that video in description also make sure you have downloaded these three tools i have posted a link of these three tools in description now what we have to do is download the mod which we want to port but before we continue i want to tell you that there are two ways to port the skins for gts 10 android the first one is to replace the skin with the skin we want and the second way is to replace the cj skin with a pedestrian and then use that pedestrian as cj the second one is easy as compared to the first one uh, so i really know the second way and i'm going to teach you the second way because it is widely used and it's easy as compared to the first one so let's begin the tutorial in this tutorial we will extract obb files install the tools then we will download the skin which we want to port then we will rename the dff file of that skin with the pedestrian name then import that dff in gta3.img file then we will extract textures with txt files and import them to gts android then we will move the files, run the game and use the skin selector mod to choose that skin. Let me show you. So, first of all what you have to do is download the mod. I am going to download this skin. All credit of this skin goes to addn 69 I have already downloaded it, so I will just open it. You can use WinWare to open the rare files after opening it you will see a dff and rtxt files now create a folder pc mods and just select dff and txt file to this folder just close the window now now we have a dff file and a txt file we only need these two files so now what we have to do is rename this tff file with the pedestrian name you can go to this link uh, if you want to know the pedestrian's name and after going to this link you will see a lot of pets all present in gts and andreas you can rename your pet skin with any pedestrian you want i am going to rename my pedestrian with pfost pfost right here so after renaming the dff file just open the rc's img editor go to file open and now go to the location where you have extracted the obb files you will see some folders like this just go to text db and open the gta3.img file now go to the location or pc mods folder and just search for this skin or dff file which you renamed dfost here you will see it's already present in gta3.img just select this file go to actions and go to import remove if exists and now go to the location where this dff file is present and select this dff file and click sorry select this dff file and click open now after doing this just go to actions and grading this is the most important step you have to do this so after rebuilding is done you can just close this now what we have to do is extract the textures from the txt file to do this you can use txt workshop just open the txt workshop and go to open txt option now go to the location where this txt file is present here just click on it and click open and you will see some textures like this now go to the export export all textures to png images and now choose the location where you want to extract these textures i am going to extract them here i am just going to make a new folder and rename it to textures just click save do not close TXE workshop, just click on minimize 
and now you will see all these textures are extracted in the location where which you selected now what we have to do is uh, move alpha and non alpha in different folders so now create two folders alpha and create another folder non alpha or without alpha whatever now all the uh, pictures or textures which have this red text written on them are alpha textures and all the textures which have no alpha textures or channel written on them are non alpha so just move all the these images with red text to alpha folder okay. so now what we have to do is just select the textures with red text to this this and this and move them to the folder alpha and move all textures which have no alpha channel to non alpha folder now we have done half the steps and now what we have to do is just open the pxd folder and go to open and now go to the location where you extracted the obb files and now you have to go to the txtb folder go to gta3 folder and choose this gta3.txt file and click open now what we have to do is go to import and with alpha options go to the location where you have alpha and non alpha images and just move the select all the alpha files and it will start importing them it can take time so do not close it and when it's done you have to click on import without alpha option and then go to the location where you have the non alpha folder and import all the files inside the non alpha folders make sure you are not going to replace the textures with very large files like 1024 or 2048 resolution because they will make your game lag okay it's done you can just now close it and now what you can do is go to the extracted obb location and now what you have to do is just select gta3 folder and gta3.mg file right click on it select copy and now go to the your phone memory go to android folder data folder and this folder cum.rockstargames.gtsc now go to files folder and go to text db folder and paste and write here if you your phone doesn't have files and text db folder you can create new by right clicking and going to new and then select your folder option and if you receive a message like this just select this option and click yes Before running your mod, make sure you have installed CLU Android because it is required to run the mod. We will use Pet Spawner mod to change our skin and it requires CLU. And CLU requires root access so before installing CLU make sure you have root access in your phone. If the game stops working then you should try to start a new game and after starting game just open the mod menu and select skin selector version 3 mod and uh, you will see uh, some men a menu like this and you have to select the old woman option here because we replaced our skin with B Frost and that model is old woman and here you can see it is working very well so there are no bugs or any other things so the mod is working fine
Thanks for watching guys. I hope you like my video. If you need more mods, guides, or tutorials, you can go to www.gtaam.net and thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching.